Henkel has set itself a pioneering goal. The consumer goods company from Germany wants to be climate positive within its own operations, not by 2050, but already by 2030. In addition, Henkel wants to leverage its influence on areas of its value chain that are not under its direct control. Ulrich Borgstedt, who's responsible for financing the activities of Henkel's suppliers, details their sustainability ambitions. We have quite explicit targets with regard to our sustainability footprint. Uh, one of them to save uh, 100 million tons of CO2 with our consumers and customers along our value chain. And we want to have an improved sustainability footprint in our upstream supply chain. For this, it needs the support of a bank. Henkel and Deutsche Bank have been working together on supply chain finance since 2010. Now they've entered new territory. The first conversion of an existing supply chain finance program in Europe to a sustainability-linked one. Together with their team, Anel Valia and Marco Berger from Deutsche Bank have developed a finance program to accelerate the transformation across Henkel's supply chain. In a supply chain finance program, suppliers are able to get their funds earlier and in the best cases, cheaper than their own funding cases. The supplier's ESG performance is directly evaluated by EcoVardis, one of the world's largest providers of sustainability ratings. EcoVardis assesses the suppliers across four themes, their environmental impact, ethics, labor and human rights, as well as sustainable procurement. Based on their EcoVardis assessment, Deutsche Bank groups the suppliers into four buckets from red to green. By improving their classification, the suppliers benefit from a margin reduction for their financing Deutsche Bank provides. This incentivizes the ESG-related transformation on the supplier's side, which supports achieving the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals. Financially speaking, there is a benefit by being able to participate in Henkel's superior funding conditions. I think both Henkel and Deutsche Bank are very clear that this is the direction to go these days. Sustainability, ESG, all aspects to it are core to Henkel and so core to Treasury. Henkel and Deutsche Bank teams um, were working um, seamlessly together in order to make this happen. For Deutsche Bank, supply chain financing has become an important part of its own sustainability strategy. In 2021, it committed to investing 1 billion euros in supply chain finance. The target should be achieved within 2023. There is a lot of interest in the market of out of the structure that we have created. There are clients who have not thought about sustainability within their procurement. They have come to us and they're asking us questions like, how do we start the process internally within our company? 